Judging by the title of the video, you guys already know that I was popping out of my skull today. Uh, certainly didn't feel that way when I first kind of woke up. Uh, long shift yesterday, kind of long day yesterday, slept like a log, woke up, felt like a log still. Took me a little while to get going, um, but I was, you know, able to hit a PR on the back squat. Uh, so I hit 205 kilos today, um, and I didn't see it coming, man. Uh, so yesterday, did some front squatting. I worked up to 140, which is kind of like a deload thing, I guess. I mean, maybe that's got everything to do with what's happened today. And then this morning, I woke up, man. I watched some videos this morning in regards to like front rack position. So I tried to kind of grab the bar with a full kind of hand, full grip, rather than having just like my uh, fingertips on it. Um, and that was kind of like making it even worse, man. So I was feeling all stiff and and kind of not, not mobile at all, not poppy at all, really. Um, but I kept fighting through it. I ended up doing 10 sets of 10 with 60 kilos uh, front squat. And I just kept playing, 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 playing. Look up, look down, elbows in, elbows out. Elbows push them up really hard. Like I, I was doing everything and anything to try and kind of just get comfortable with the front rack. Yesterday, after that first kind of, um, you know, uh, front squat, uh, session man this morning i've woken up my traps are real sore man like real real sore almost as if i just did shrugs for like a shit ton of sets really really sore shrug um uh, traps really sore collarbones and front deltoids from where the bar was resting so i'm kind of bruised up right now so maybe, maybe that's got something to do with you know with me kind of struggling through today's you know front squat racking front racking all that stuff you know, but I, I spent some time, man. Um, and then uh, I went up to like 120 kilos for one, um, which you'll see in a second. Um, did that for, you know, for one set. And then I basically decided, all right, let's just continue on with back squats because I couldn't, I didn't want to put 140 on the bar and front squat that. My, 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 I was in pain. The front rack position was hurting me. I just thought 120 was just bad enough. So then I put 140 on and did a set of five there. That felt really good. Um, felt like like a like a holiday having the bar on my back because it doesn't hurt right like having the, the 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 bar resting on your collarbone it's like agony before you know before you even start squatting um, so the moment I put the bar on my back I was like damn this is this is awesome just to do back squats man it just feels amazing so I did that for a set of five that felt like a breeze um, kind of fully recovered from that pig squat routine a few days ago. Then I went straight to 180, hit that for one, felt good. And I thought to myself, man, judging by the, the way 180 moved, man, maybe today I can hit 205. That's literally the thought that went through my head. Then I thought to myself, should I do 210? And then I thought, no, let's not be stupid here. Last time 210 murdered you mentally. You ran away from the battle like a little bitch. And uh, so clearly not strong enough mentally for that yet. Clearly my body's telling me we are not strong enough for that yet. So let's... Um, Let's have a stepping stone and uh, hit 205. So 180 moved really well. And then I thought, okay, so how am I going to approach this? Do I put 200 on the bar and then do 205? And then I thought, maybe that's, that's too close, man. That's too close. So I, uh, I ended up putting 190 on the bar. Did that. Felt really good. And then I thought, let's just do it, man. Let's put 205 and whatever happens, happens. If I fail, whatever, man. Another fail in the books. Another experience with heavy weight on my back. And that's how I went into it. I just went, screw it, let's, just, let's fail this lift. That's literally the last thought that I had. Grab the bar and I, I'm like, okay, we're failing this. And I'm going to give it a good old go, but we're going to fail. And just that thought gave me kind of the confidence to go, screw this shit, man. Screw it. F you, F the rack, F the bar, F the plates, F everything, man. Let's just fail this. Let's just drop it and destroy the concrete. Put a hole in the ground. That's kind of the vibe that I had leading up to the bar. I was like, I'm prepared to fail. So what? Um, and then the moment I unracked it, I was like, yeah, let's let's fail this. <laughs> let's fail this bitch, man. Like, let's get on with it. I got shit to do today. And then I just squatted it. Um, halfway up, for some reason, I lost my positioning again. Uh, there was a bit of thoracic rounding. You can see that on the video. I'm just telling all this stuff. So you, when you watch the video, you know exactly what was going on. There was some thoracic rounding. Uh, but I was like, that's cool. Let's just keep pushing, pushing. And then before I knew it, I was like out of the sticking point. I was like, damn, we're not failing this bitch today. <laughs> And then I just racked the bar and that was it. And then uh, I was just in disbelief because I went in trying to fail. It's, the, the way the brain works, man, it's... If you think, you know, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. There's this pressure to fight. But if you think to yourself, let's, let, let's just go in, give as much as possible, and we're going to fail. We're going in to fail, but fail with pride. 
you know, give everything to the bar and fail with pride, just fail it. And that kind of gave me the confidence to be like, that's cool, man, we can fail. It's fine to fail. Um, so what is this? Is this it? Uh, no, this is, so this is 190. Check out this move. So this is kind of, this is the moment that I went, yeah, 205 is on the table today. Check it out. So that was 190. Um, felt really strong throughout the whole lift. Um, and that kind of gave me the confidence to do this. So I'll let you guys kind of uh, listen to the sounds and whatever. Um, not a lot going on really in the background, but just check it out. See, there you go. That, that, that was the thrust grounding that I was talking about. Um, uh, but yeah, really, really happy. I was kind of disbelieved that I didn't fail. <laughs> I was like, man, what is wrong with this brain of mine? When I go in to fail, I, I get a good. When I go in to succeed, I don't get a good. So anyway, so then after that, I was like, man, I'm feeling strong. Let's get some proper volume in. I've never really given 180 a good ride. So I've got a set of uh, four here. Um, I've probably had five in me, but... Um, at this point, I was kind of um, psyched out, uh, jittery, happy, all that kind of thing. So I just thought, let's just stay away from five and just do four. So that that was one. Um, two also felt really good. I think the third one kind of freaked me out a little bit because I was kind of like, the core was kind of um, threatening to drastically round again. Now, I think this drastic rounding, it's new to me, man. Uh, I've never had this on video before. I think the drastic rounding is basically just the the upper back fried from front squats. Like you just have to fight so hard to keep your upper back flat. Um, and yeah, that's my day, man. That's my day. So surprise, surprise. You never know what's happening with, with, with your brain and your body. Like we've already discussed many times with you guys in the comments. On the days that you feel shit, you come in and you set a PR. Whatever. All right, guys, that's all I got. Um, happy about today. I guess I'll catch you guys in the, new, in, the, in the next video. Peace out, guys.